marks the first official day of spring, but for a lot of people, they don't actually know where seasons come from to begin with. So we're going to break down what that first day of spring actually means. The vernal equinox, that Latin word that roughly translates to equal night and fitting because as the first day of spring falling on March 19th today of 2020 in the northern hemisphere, you will roughly see equal daylight as you will for darkness. So roughly 12 hours for each. But let's talk about why we actually have seasons to begin with. It all comes down to how the earth is tilted on a 23.5 degree axis. So without this axis, you would not see seasons. We would see that equator that line, the imaginary line we draw to divide the northern hemisphere from the south areas close to that equator they would be a touch warmer and then in turn areas closer to the north and south poles they would be a touch cooler but you wouldn't actually see seasons and it's because of that tilt that at certain times in the year the northern hemisphere is tilted more toward the sun whereas in other portions of the year the southern hemisphere takes their chance to be more tilted toward the sun so what we're dealing with right now we are right here the vernal equinox still maintaining that tilt all throughout the year as the earth orbits around the sun the next stop would be summer solstice you can see in both vernal equinox and summer solstice which happens June 20th to the June 22nd, the northern hemisphere is the hemisphere that is close to, more closely tilted toward the sun, whereas the southern hemisphere just wrapping up their summer. And for today in particular, what that means is the axis is tilted neither toward nor away from the sun, but we're actually finally going to see our chance for those warmer months. And we're also going to see longer days. Those 12 hour marks you're seeing today, we're actually going to outnumber the darkness pretty soon here. But for March 19th, you're going to see an equal amount of daylight and darkness at all latitudes.